hello everyone in this lecture we are going to discuss the concept template here in this image you can observe we are having three cross two block two cross two block some slope blocks and l shape block and we have created one standard or generalized block that is used to assemble any of these block so template concept is nearly similar to this example in which we are going to use generalized programming or we can say generic programming so let us understand what is the concept template here we are having one function add with two arguments of type integer and returning x plus y integer that's why here return type is integer i am writing same add function that will use to add two float numbers and it is returning float value next i am adding double values and returning double same way i can add ask values of two characters and it will return character so here you can observe that what is uncommon over here that is data types of each function and return type now imagine that we are having one data type that adjusts itself based on data and that is called generic programming or generalized programming suppose we are having a data type that will work for any type of data then we need to write only a single function and we can pass any type of data to perform addition so that can be accomplished using the concept templates so the templates concept enables us to define generic classes and generic functions or we can say generalized classes or generalized functions that will work for any type of data templates allows a function or class to work on many different data types without being rewritten for each one so there is no need to write add function four times for four different data types we can use templates for that so we can say templates are generic programming or generalized programming that will work for different types of data there are two further classification of templates one is function template and another is class template so let us see first function template here is the syntax we are supposed to write template keyword then opening angle and closing angle in between that class keyword and t type here t type is just like variable name you can write any variable name you are creating new data type over here like integer float character we are defining new data type that is t type so template is keyword here class specifies generic type in a template that is used for various data types and t type is a placeholder name for a data type you can write any name over here another syntax for function template is we are supposed to write template keyword as it is but instead of class if you write type name then it is also valid this is the all method and this is the new method of writing or declaring function template let us see program for that here i am having function add that is adding two integers and returning us integer and we are calling this function add in c out let us execute this code addition is 70 because we have passed 50 and 20 now if i declare two variables of type double that is l with value 5.5 and m with value 2.7 and if i call add function and passing l and m which are double so for this call we need to write separate add function over here and that will perform addition for two double values but let us create template by writing template keyword opening and closing angle class that is this specifier of generic type and let us as a name it as t so now we are having new data type t that is generic data type that will work for any type of data so instead of integer i am writing t that is new data type and return type is again t let us execute this code so here whenever we call add function with integer argument it will automatically convert this x and y to integer type and perform integer addition and return as integer but if i call same function with double argument it will call this function and automatically convert this x and y into double data type and perform double addition and return as double value now we can write type name over here instead of class to declare generic data type it will work fine but our generalized practice will be writing class only so this is the way how we can define new generic data type that is t and we can use in our function 
C++ templates are a powerful mechanism for code reuse as they enable programmer to write code that behaves same for any data type. We have created single function for integer addition and double addition. Same way we can write for float and character as well. By template, we can define generic classes and functions. We have seen how to write generic functions. Next, we will see how to write generic classes also. In simple terms, you can create single function or class to work with different data types using templates. So template considered as a kind of macro when object of any specific class is defined, then the template definition for the class that will be substituted or replaced with the required data type. Now let us see class template. The syntax of class template is similar to function template. Template keyword to declare template, then class is used to specify generic data type. Here you can write any placeholder name. Most important thing in class template is to declare object of a class object of a class is declared like this class name then you are supposed to provide data type in opening and closing angle and then your object name let us see the example here i'm having class sample with member functions get data and sum now i'm creating class template by writing template class and t type so here new generic data type that is t type now if i create variables a and b of T type rather than integer float or character inside main we generally declare object by writing class name and object name but here we are supposed to write class name then object name if we want to use this objects members to be treated as integer then we are supposed to write integer data type over here next let us create object s2 and members of s2 are a and b if we want to treat these two members as float then we are supposed to write over here float data type so you need to specify data type at the declaration of object so that members of that object can be treated as integer or float or character or double so if we call s1 dot get data it will get a and b as integer because we have specified integer data type here if i call s2 dot get data it will get a and b as float let us write example for that so here in this example you can observe that we are having one template and its name is t type and inside class we are declaring two members of t type here we are having member function get data to get data from user for a and b member and member function sum that will be displaying addition of a and b so let us execute this code so here we have created object s1 to be treated as integer so if i call s1 dot get data it will get two integer values that is five and two and if i call s1 dot sum it will display addition of a and b that is seven next i'm creating object s2 of type float and for that if i call get data it will get two float members and if i call s2 dot sum it will perform addition of two float numbers that will be 10.4 next if you want to define function definition outside the class then we are supposed to write function name this function is part of class sample so sample class and scope resolution operator and void that is the return type but in case of template we are supposed to write generic data type over here and function definition that is c out a plus b and end line let us execute this code it will throw you error we need to redeclare t type over here so let us redeclare it let us execute this code So it will work for integer and float so this is the way how class template and function template works let us see another example of class template for more than one data type here we are having template one data type is t1 another data type is t2 so class sample inside that i am having variable a of type t1 variable b of type t2 inside constructor i am having x of type t1 y of type t2 and that will be assigned in variable a and b and one member function display that will use to display value of a and b so inside main i am creating one object s1 first argument is integer second argument is float for integer we will be having t1 template for this float we are having 
t2 template and we need to specify data types of s1 object so for that it will call sample and it will assign 12 and 23.3 to variable b so to create class template object define data type inside opening and closing angle at the time of object creation here is the example next i'm creating object s2 with first argument character and second argument integer we need to specify data type over here so compiler can convert this generic data type to character second generic data type to integer and if i call s1.display it will be displaying value of a and b there is 12 and 23.3 and s2.display will display n and 12 so this is the way how function template and class template works thank you